Hello and welcome to the Stream King YouTube channel. If you are a user of Popcorn Time on your Fire TV stick, you may at times see a me message that there is no available free space on the disc. I usually see this when I change the dubbing to a different language for some reason. In any case, the problem stems from the fact that a Fire TV stick has limited memory resources to handle the large file sizes that Popcorn Time is dealing with. The good news is that there are some easy ways to overcome this problem. If you don't already have Popcorn Time, you can install it using my tutorial at the end of this video. Popcorn Time is essentially a BitTorrent client. For those of you not familiar with BitTorrent, it is a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing technology. Everyone shares a little piece of the bigger file. Popcorn Time opens connections to hundreds of sharing sources and downloads many pieces at the same time and then reassembles them on your device, and then plays those pieces. As it needs more, it downloads more and removes the already played pieces. This method works very well and allows you to stream at very high speeds approaching your maximum internet connection speed. The downside to this method is that parts of the file have to be downloaded in order for them to be streamed. There are two issues with this, the legality of downloading videos and the physical limitations of the Fire Stick's memory. Let me break those down. The first problem with peer-to-peer -peer technology is that legally downloading of copyrighted material is a crime in many countries. You should never use Popcorn Time without using a VPN. The Amazon Fire TV Stick has a limited amount of memory to work with. This is simply due to the fact that Amazon doesn't sell the stick to be modified, although a huge percentage of Fire TV device sales are by people that mod them. However, they only put the amount of memory on the stick that they feel is sufficient to run Amazon's own services, and not much more. Since space is at a premium on the Fire Stick, there are a couple of things you can do to free up as much memory as possible so you can use Popcorn Time without issues. The first thing you can do is remove excess applications and storage. If you are using a jailbroken Fire TV stick for your home theater solution, then you don't need very many programs or applications. Normally, a jailbroken Fire Stick only uses a couple or maybe three programs to deliver all the content you could ever want. In this case, get rid of some of the installed programs. Here is a little primer on how to do that. It's very easy to uninstall an application from your Fire Stick. From any screen, long press the Home button until you see the following screen pop up. Then click on Apps. Here you will see all the installed apps on your Fire TV Stick. Unfortunately, you can't uninstall any of the Amazon pre-installed applications, but I will show you how to deal with those later. Look through the apps you see here and uninstall any of them that you don't use. I rarely use the Downloader app anymore, for example. Scroll down to select the app you want and uninstall. Click the button on your remote with the three little lines. It's to the right of the Home button. You will see a menu pop up at the bottom right side of the screen. Scroll down and click Uninstall. To remove it from the cloud, just do the same thing. Click the button with three lines on your remote, and the menu will come up again. This time it will say, Remove from cloud. Click that. Confirm, Remove from cloud. You have successfully uninstalled that app. The next thing you can do is in the system applications. Remember I said I would show you how to deal with these pre-installed Amazon apps that you can't uninstall? In this case, you will want to squeeze them down so they use less memory. You can do this by clearing the data that is stored in the app. Go to Settings. Then click on Applications. Scroll down and choose Managed Installed Applications. You will see a list of all the applications installed on your Fire TV Stick. For this example, we will clear the storage of the Amazon Music app. Remember, if you open the app after clearing its storage, the storage will be filled again. So only do this to the apps that you will never use. Also, you will not reclaim very much space by doing this, sometimes only a few hundred kilobytes at most. 
but sometimes that few hundred kilobytes makes all the difference. Scroll down and click on the app you want to clear the storage from. Select Clear Data, and select Clear Data again. After clearing the data, you will see that the amounts used by the data and cache are now zero. The third and last option is to upgrade your device. If you want to run a lot of apps, but still want to be able to use programs like Popcorn Time, you can simply upgrade a device with more physical memory. The Amazon Fire TV is a nice little upgrade from the Fire Stick. Then, you can go up onto the Fire TV Cube or the all-new Toshiba 4K Fire TV. I have links to purchase these in the description below. In conclusion, Popcorn Time is a powerful program that uses some very high-tech methods to stream your favorite videos, but its inherent flaws can sometimes make it seem buggy. By making sure that you have the maximum amount of memory on your device, you can be sure that you don't see the dreaded no available free space on disk message. Please don't forget to use a VPN when you're using the internet. This is especially true when using applications such as Popcorn Time or any other program that uses BitTorrent technology. As I mentioned before, the people over at IPVanish have allowed me to extend a 60% discount to our visitors. The link for that discount is in the description below. Please subscribe to the Stream King YouTube channel to keep up to date about Kodi, Fire devices, and other streaming media devices as well.